Uh, no, they don't want me doing news. I'm going to do weather. Here we go. This is a live look at our downtown Birmingham Skycam from Children's of Alabama. Got some traffic issues downtown, but nothing like the weather last night. The storms are gone. The air is dry, and we will be cold tonight. National Weather Service survey teams doing their work today. They've identified the Utah Akron Stewart tornado is an EF1. This is the one that came through Utah, crossed the Warrior River, came over into Hale County, affecting Akron and Stewart. Uh, again, EF1 there. The tornado responsible for the fatalities north of Montgomery, uh, Flatwoods, that is now rated EF2 by National Weather Service survey teams. They have much more work to do. It's probably going to take at least three days before all of those surveys are done. This system really brought some huge rain events to the state. Average amounts between two and five inches. In fact, some spots going over five inches, places like Alexandria, Margaret, and Morris. In Tuscaloosa County, almost three inches for Coker. Trussville, the total there was 4.88. And in Helena, the total was 3.85, but we're going to be dry for the rest of this week. Temperatures coming down quickly now that the sun is down, down to 37 for Haleyville, 41 degrees for Jasper and Coleman, Birmingham at 46, Adiana 43. We're expecting lows tomorrow morning between 28 and 32 for most locations with a clear sky. This is water vapor satellite imagery. The big storms are long gone. The shades of yellow that represents very dry air. So no rain for the next couple of days, but rain will be coming back about the time the weekend gets here. Again, freezing temperatures tomorrow morning, maybe some mid 20s for the colder pockets. No rain tomorrow, no rain Friday, then weekend showers. And a lot of things are happening outdoors this weekend, holiday Christmas type events. Understand this will not be a washout. We don't expect any severe weather, not much thunder, but from time to time, we'll have some rain Saturday and Sunday. But temperatures not bad. We're expecting highs in the 60s on both days. Overnight tonight, the sky will be mostly clear. Lows tomorrow morning in the city around 32, but again, the colder pockets will likely be in the mid to upper 20s early tomorrow morning. So here's a look at the upper air pattern across the country for the next several days. We're going to stay underneath the fairly uh, zonal flow here. That's from west to east, and a surface boundary is going to stall out here by the time the weekend gets here, and that's going to set the stage for the chance of rain this weekend and probably into next week as well. Here's our 10-day. Beautiful day tomorrow, but cold to start the day. We start the day around 29, the high 58. Friday, partially sunny with a high at 64. Then for Saturday and Sunday, the sky mostly cloudy both days with occasional showers. High should be in the middle 60s. Next week, the chance of showers persisting Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Low 70s are likely by Tuesday of next week. You can catch my forecast every day on great radio stations around the state, including in Birmingham, 98.7 KISS.